Uh, I wanted to do a tribute video for Bjork Lambrecht. I didn't want to do it so I got loads of views or made money off or anything. I just wanted to do it in like, like a half up thing because I was pretty upsetting what happened yesterday. Um, if you don't know, Bjork Lambrecht died yesterday in the tour of Cologne. Um, apparently, he we well, crashed into a drain. Um, no one really knows what happened. I don't really want to speculate um, as to see what, what did happen, but I guess we'll find out. And um, he had some heart issues and they resuscitated him, um, took him to hospital and then he died during an emergency operation. But, you know, it's it's one of those things that seems quite surreal. Like the other day, I was commenting on one of the videos, on Patrick's videos, being like, you know, he's going to win Flash next year and stuff like that. I thought he was going to win the stage today. I'm like, I don't know, it just seems really odd that he is dead. I mean, it's crazy, but you can see his results this year, second in Basque Country. And he's a top, top rider for sure. Apparently very nice guy as well. Second under 23 Worlds. You know, with Worlds he got a fourth, it's pretty solid, and an eighth in his first Grand Tour. Again, very, very good. Um, and like, I guess it's just, um, it's just quite shocking, I guess, to think that, you know, he died doing a bike race, like it seems quite surreal. He won the Tour of Fjords um, and in Tour de l'Avenir when he was in 2017, he, um, he came second in that as well, in the general classification um, behind Egan Bernal. Um, yeah, it's really amazing to think what happened, especially with me having a crush as well, because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy what has happened to him and what has happened what does happen to a lot of cyclists in terms of big crashes and big risk, but this just seems crazy in a world tour race. I mean, it's not even a world tour race, any race, um, but yeah, he died. Um, so yeah, I, I watched the stage today. It's pretty, very sad. They did a minute silence on the finish line for him. Then a how the lucky said our riders really rode for 123 kilometers. Um, which I think was the stage um, today. I'm not sure if they're going to race tomorrow. They haven't decided. The race is going on for sure. Um, but I'm not sure if a lot of Sudal guys will race or not. Um, but yeah, I guess it's, for them it's really hard because like on the bus, it's not going to be there. I go for breakfast, it's not going to be there. When he goes for dinner, then it's not going to be there. Like you're going to not really get used to it for so long, so you're going to keep getting upset about it. But yeah, I mean, it's very tragic indeed. Um, and I guess, you know, it does seem like in pro cycling, there's always one death a year, or it seems more or less. I mean, you had Antoine de Mathieu, um, and Goulet, and some of the other guys who have died, Wilds of Waylands. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really tragic. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say, um, apart from just stay safe on your bike and I'm going to miss Bjorg Lambrecht that's for sure I rated that boy very highly I think he was definitely going to come an absolute world beater for sure anyway cheers for watching I don't think you've enjoyed this video to be honest it's just really sad but hopefully his family are, I don't know can get over it in, hopefully in some time may rest in peace but anyway I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully a bit more of an upbeat video.